Well, how fabulous to see you back in my garden in beautiful Queensland in Australia. Today, the temperature was about 27 degrees. So nice, nice little breeze, cloudless day, absolutely gorgeous, fabulous for gardeners. But then any day is good for a gardener, isn't it? This is part of my rose series. I like to highlight the roses that I have in my garden just so that you can see what they look like when they're fully grown. Just see how they grow in, in my area. Uh, this is a David Austin rose. It's called William Shakespeare and it's actually a standard. And we know that because it's on a 90 centimetre stem. Down there's its watering hole. I water directly into that so that I know the water's going uh, to the roots where it should because I have a lot of mulch in my gardens. You know, I recommend everyone mulch, mulch, mulch. Keep the moisture under the ground. So if you've got mulch of any sort, watering just on top of it will soak into the mulch. So make sure you've put something there like I have so that the water goes directly to the base. Like I say, it's a David Austin, it's William Shakespeare. It's this most beautiful of colors and very, very fragrant as well. Um, grow straight up. As you can see, the habit is straight up. It's not actually branching outwards. It's actually growing straight up. Um, he has some amazing roses. This one's highly fragrant as well. And it looks like I'm in for a real nice time with this one, with the amount of buds and flowers that I have on it. So this is William Shakespeare, a beautiful rose built in a standard for me, but you can actually buy them, uh, and grow them, you know, obviously from the base onto the ground. I just like the standards. They just work for me beautifully in my garden. As you can see, the rosettes on here are quite tight. And that is just what the old English roses tend to look like. Little different to the hybrid teas that we have today. But for me, this is an absolutely beautiful rose. Two of them together, making an absolute fabulous show in my spring garden. No matter where you are in the world, I hope you're enjoying your roses or your trees or your bulbs. No matter what it is, enjoy the special time that you have in your garden.